as we start to wrap up, do you mind sharing maybe one more favorite Dave Clark story? Oh my gosh. So perspective, how about we go to perspective? Okay. Um, Dave played for 10 years in the minor leagues. Um, he blew out his elbow in Sweden. He had four, he had a four year contract to play in the Swedish major leagues. And it was the first time he'd ever made an all-star team. So what people don't realize is he wasn't there just as a sideshow. He was this close. And I say this close, an inch close to making it to the major leagues with the Chicago white Sox because he could pitch and get people out. Okay. So he goes over to Sweden. He has this four year deal. He blows out his elbow. It's a lot colder over there. Um, you know, playing and they were literally plowing snow the, the day the day of a game and they weren't canceling you know because that was normal for them in sweden and he blew out his elbow tried to come back that didn't work um and he wound up buying a team it's a very famous team it's actually hank aaron's original team a part of the negro league teams uh, there's negro league museum negro league history and dave wound up playing for that team when they had integrated white players into the into the team was very successful and then he bought that team put himself on first base so when you're talking about thinking differently yeah. um he, you know he's he's the master of that but in 1987 he was it was the year before he was wrapping up um it, it, the team wrapped up in 19 1980 or 1988 but 1987 um he had the worst game of his life struck out he always says he never struck out but obviously he did um, he struck out, he, he had two easy ground balls that went past him, uh, which wasn't normal for him because anything low was where his, his wheelhouse was. And they got beat like 22 to three in a, you know, in a professional baseball game. So to say he was, I don't know if we can use the word pissed. Um, so, so one of his attributes that we don't talk about a lot is he also had a big temper which is probably one of the reasons he was successful. He goes into the dugout after this big loss and his terrible game. He takes one of his crutches and it was an old dugout that had these shore poles in the middle of the dugout. And this was in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And he starts beating the pole with his crutch. So much so that he turned the crutch into a C. And one of his co-players comes up to him and of course Dave's yelling him at words we won't say on this podcast to get away from him and enraged and he says no I need you get away from me no no get the get out of here he said Dave there's a young girl in a wheelchair that wants to see you you gotta see her and Dave said as soon as he heard wheelchair young girl he like he like got back into his senses mm -hmm. And then he asked the guy to straighten out the crutch by jumping on it with his spikes in this, you know, concrete floor. And he's trying to get it enough to where he could use the crutch. And he goes out and he crutches out to see this father greet him with this little girl in a wheelchair, praising Dave. Dave, you were amazing. He said, no, honey, I had the worst game of my life. You don't understand how bad this was. No, it was great. And she just kept praising Dave and he couldn't take it because he was complaining about the terrible game that he had. Long story short, he goes, honey, what don't I get? He tells this little girl, she says, Dave, you were on the field. You were playing. And he's like, he's, he never forgot that interaction with that little 12-year-old girl. Because even for him, he couldn't see himself, how incredible it was mm -hmm. for him to be on the field playing with these other professional athletes, whether it was as a pitcher, as a first baseman. He just wanted to win. He's very competitive probably the most competitive person I tell him it's the most competitive person I've ever met in the world. And, and I felt like I was pretty competitive growing up with being the youngest brother of four, four, older, you know, three older brothers. And that was a perspective changer for him. And he tells that story often in the dugouts when we get to, uh, you know, in the locker rooms, when we get to talk to these professional athletes and it's all perspective, you know, but Dave was on the field and that's what we give these kids an opportunity through disability dream and do is, is that we give them a chance to be on the field and to feel like ball players and to hopefully get them an idea that, hey, if you have a goal, you can dream it, but also put action to it and dream and do it. And, uh, and that's what Dave's life's about. And that's the legacy we want to leave through the camps. 